Portsmouth City Council will shorten the amount of time the public can speak at the meetings, and a lot of people don't like it. Now, instead of five minutes, people get three. Penny your side's Brandy Cummings is here to tell us the problem is that no one knew the vote was coming. That's right. Many of the folks who we spoke to, residents, and all of those talking about this recent decision on social media say they think this latest move by council members may show the elected officials in Portsmouth don't want to hear the input from the citizens. It was an added agenda item that only took about nine minutes to handle from beginning to end. We have um, two motions that we talked about in the earlier uh, meeting. Uh, first one is a resolution amending Section 17A of the Portsmouth City Council Rules of Order and Procedure to limit the time of business item speaker and or a non-agenda item speaker has to speak <coughs> to a maximum of three minutes. He wouldn't talk to me on camera, but Councilman Whitaker told me on the phone the change was discussed in an open work session prior to the council meeting. Three residents voiced opposition in Tuesday's meeting. What's the rationale for this? At one point, it seems Mayor Kenny Wright even took one man's complaint as a joke. If we are not allowed to speak for three minutes, I suggest why don't we just take the whole thing off for of TV, the city council meeting, everybody off. Just shut the TV down. Look, we are paying for this. So move. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Vice Mayor Simmons spoke in support of the move, and it was a unanimous vote of approval. But residents like 25-year-old Tina Artis disapprove. Why are they cutting the time, you know? If anybody should have time cut, it should be them. The Political Action Committee People for Portsmouth took to social media voicing opposition. I think it's telling citizens, I really don't want your input. And that's what is so disastrous. Group founding member Pat Coppell says she's not upset at the change itself. Instead, how it was done so suddenly and without prior input. So the group plans to help get new city leaders elected next year. Our goal is to elect school board members, city council members, a member and possibly Commonwealth attorney who are focused on the long-term goals of Portsmouth. Aside from Dr. Whitaker, the only Portsmouth Council member that returned my calls today was Mayor Wright. When I asked for an interview, he said no, this is not something he wants to talk about. I started to ask questions about why this change. To that, he said goodbye and hung up. I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.